I'll show you what I eat in a day and I also am planning to go to the Asian supermarket because I haven't been for ages. So yeah, let's eat and go food shopping together. Good morning. Oops, big you are. So we're about to go on a walk, a dog walk, take Hazel out and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make some, well, have some yogurt with maybe some blueberries and almond butter, maybe. Greek yogurt, which is my favourite because it's high protein or higher uh, protein. Then some frozen blueberries, a bit of almond butter, pistachios, uh, and chia seeds fibre. And yeah, I didn't really fancy eggs because I don't know, sometimes if I have too many eggs, I just get the egg ick, especially with omelettes, get the omelette ick quite easily. Mm. I love blueberries so much. I've also got honey on here for my granddad's bees. About 8.30 now. I'm gonna finish the rest of my breakfast. Then I think the I think the Asian supermarket opens at 9.30, so maybe I'll do a bit of editing and then drive off. Also, I'm training for a half marathon, so this is a why eat in a day whilst training for a half marathon. I'm not actually gonna go for a run today, so my hunger levels will probably be a little bit less than they usually are. But I am gonna do some hot yoga later this evening with a friend. Yay, <laughs> so excited. Got all the fresh produce. I'm gonna go and try and find some chili oil and meat. I think I've run out of soy sauce at home too, so I'm gonna get some soy sauce, probably light and dark, just to be safe. So happy I finally got some more chilli oil and sriracha because I was really running out of it at home. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at the frozen section. These look quite nice. Oh my god, I love these ones. These ones are so good. It sounds interesting. Korean style soy honey fried chicken and Korean style fried chicken. Oh my god, it looks so good. But no, I shouldn't. Okay, I found, I found something that I'm definitely gonna get. Scallion pancakes. Oh my god, yum, look at that. I love custard buns. I love these, but not today. I actually can't decide what dumplings to get. There's too, there's too many options. Hey, it's like, it's like Oreos, but not Oreos. Full deck, my favorite. I haven't seen this flavor before, habanero lime. Oh my God, they have this Jew type. I haven't tried this one before, but it's one I follow on TikTok, so it's the best. 
Do I need this money? I actually can't find any smaller packets. I'm gonna have to spend however much there is, 10 pounds on it. Oh my God. And the carbonara one, so good. The cheese one I had and didn't love it. I really like the black one. It's really, really spicy. So I have to add quite a lot of milk and cheese to it, but it's so good. I also love Indomie. This is one of my favorite brands. It's I might get a couple of these because I never see them anymore. Okay, we've got to the dried noodle section, not the not the instant ones, the dried ones. I'm gonna get some. These um, Taiwanese style crinkle noodles. I'm not sure what they're called. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff. I seem to have missed the crisp section, so I'm gonna try and go back and find it. Curry crisps also sound really good, to be honest. But, another time. I'm looking for the salted egg yolk crisp. It's literally my favorite crisp in the whole world. They should have it somewhere. I can't find them anywhere. Where are you, salted egg yolk crisps? I can't find them, so I'll just go to the next aisle. QP mayonnaise. I do love this, but I've got quite a lot of mayonnaise at home, so maybe not today. Actually, I'm just going to get it whilst I'm here. Just forgot, I'm also out of gochujang, so I'm going to find some now. Yay, here it is. God, these sound so good. Okay. I think I found a better pancake, so I'm gonna put this back and get the other version. Bye bye. Yes, uh, you look perfect. I think I'm ready to pay now, but I don't want to go. What if I miss something delicious somewhere? I'm gonna go down the noodle aisle again just to make sure there's not any of the Bordak noodles in the individual variety. I don't want to spend ten pounds on the whole packet. It seems crazy, but you have to do what you have to do. Never seen this before. Hot pepper ramen. That looks really delicious, actually. They've got the pot versions. I've never had this before. I wonder what it's like. Look at all these different flavours of Oreo, grape and peach, matcha, just peach. What is this peach peach obsession? Birthday cake and blue raspberry. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay now, but I'm not gonna film or something because I'm too shy. It's my first, it's my first trip out. So yeah, I'll see you in the car. Okay, that was actually so much fun and I think I got loads of delicious things so yeah I'm quite excited to make lunch and dinner now. Hi! Good girl! Yes! It's all what are you doing? Just got back, so I'm gonna make some lunch now, and I think I'll do some sort of tofu scramble with gochujang and like maybe a bit of the cabbage too. So yeah, let's go and make it. I'm actually not gonna use the tofu that I just bought because I already have some in the fridge. I'm gonna use this one. Yes, yeah, the smoked tofu from Sainsbury's, which I love. It has such a smoky taste. It has such a nice taste. It's really um, it's. It's a lot more flavorful than the normal tofu.
I'm going to put a bit of the QP mayonnaise on it. Just a little bit. And I'm going to try some of the super hot sriracha that I got. Normally I would just drizzle it all over, but I'm going to be conservative and just put it on the side so I can see how hot it actually is. I'm eating it with lettuce cups. Okay, I'm going to try a bit without the sriracha first. Mmm. It's so good. It's literally one of my favourite meals to make. I'm not sure if other people would think it's weird or boring. I find it quite comforting. Let's try a spicy sriracha. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. It's not like really, really hot like pepper sauces, but it's got a bit of a nicer level of heat than the normal sriracha, I think. Mmm, so refreshing. I will definitely make this every week, maybe, maybe twice a week too. I'll either make it with gochujang, if I don't have gochujang, I'll put chilli powder in and extra chilli, like fresh chilli. I'm going to text Jordan and tell him lunch is ready. Mmm, mm, there's a massive fly in here. I'm going to open the door to let it out. Ignore my washing on the radiator. Look how big that fly is. Fly be gone. Oh my God, it flew up there. I'm gonna eat the rest of this and maybe scroll through TikTok or something. Or maybe I'll watch the rest of Grey's, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I'm gonna put Grey's Anatomy on. See you in a bit. I kept changing my mind about what I want for dinner because I'm going to hot yoga this evening. So I have to have a quite early dinner. So it's, I think it's only like four o'clock now, but I'm gonna try the new Bordak noodles. The stew type ones. I just can't wait any longer. <laughs> I need to try them. And I'm just gonna have them with some prawns, I think. Let's go make it. stew tight bordak ramen noodles. It smells so good. It's really, really hot. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Mmm. I think this is probably my top three bordak flavours. Obviously the carbonara one's delicious, but I really like the, um, the black one as well, the spicy one. I really like that one. So glad I went to the Asian supermarket this morning. Mm -mm. It's obviously got a little bit of a cake, but it's not, it's not that spicy at all. It's so good. Okay, I'm going to stay here and watch some TV. All of my friends have been telling me to watch this new thing on Netflix called Something Reindeer. Baby Reindeer, maybe? So I'm going to put that on now. This is my last meal of the day. Yeah, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. It's my first proper long form one, so please hit subscribe and like.